Perhaps one of the biggest meetings last year was the cashless meeting where uh, Frankie Hogan had a petition signed by more than 5,000 Cairns residents to reinstate cash as a payment option at council facilities. Councillor James, you might have something to propose. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would um, like to move an alternative motion. Uh, now again, credit where credit's due. This time, the deputy mayor, old TJ, before he became the mayor, he actually sided with residents in the petition and he's come up with a whole resolution there to bring cash back to council facilities. Again, this was a decision made in Brisbane um, that they wanted us to follow and the mayor bl uh, followed it blindly. But I will add that although Terry James is trying to distance himself from the former mayor, he was the deputy mayor for 16 years. Uh, he was there behind every decision, every step of the way, and he was backing him. Uh, he backed him with the rest of the Unity team the whole way. So don't let Terry fool you into thinking this is, um, you know, something new, a uh, new Unity team. Actually, he's not trying to. He's actually telling everyone to just vote for the same old, same old. But anyway, on this occasion, Terry, mate, you listened to the people and you did the right thing. Good on you. Um, that one that council proposes that payment for all council services be way of cash and or FTOS. A resolution also included making basically libraries free as they should be. Two, services provided by council at all council libraries be free of charge. Also snuck a little resolution in there making sure that whenever you pay for your council rates notices, water bills, uh, parking fines, things like that, you, whether you pay with cash or credit card, there are no surcharges. You pay, you make the payment and that's it. So that's great, that's a win um, for everybody. Three, the current arrangement of no additional cost or surcharge applied by council for the use of debit or credit cards and or cash continues. Now I mentioned Frankie Hogan before. I've actually come to know Frankie quite well. She actually lives in Division 4 and, and said I could put up a sign out the front of her place uh, after knocking on her door. But, you know, we, we've gotten to know each other a little bit now because uh, she, like me, has been attending most of the council meetings, you know, over the last six to 12 months. But here Brett Olds is really just giving her the credit that is due. She's the one that organised his position. And I've got to say, I've been in council meetings about the last two years. I've never seen it full. Uh, except this one occasion. And there's a lot of people that you can't see there that were downstairs watching on a TV screen. So that's how many people she got behind her for this. So, yeah, thanks, Frankie. Thanks to all the residents, in particular, Frankie Hogan, uh, your tenacious spirit to get out there and for the last couple of months... I just think it's a, it's a huge example that one person can make a difference because you've got out there and the business has got on board. We're a small business council. A lot of small businesses got on board with this movement and it just shows you that I, I love this level of government more than the rest because it really is where the rubber meets the road, where the people can get to us. And I think if this motion gets up today, it's an example of how that we've listened uh, to the community and we've given you a win. So thanks to all the councillors too for working with Terry and, and Councillor Zyger and all this as well and Councillor Eden who's I've been on board since day one. Thanks. Let's take a look at the decision. I'm not seeing any hands going up against. So therefore the motion moved by Councillor James, seconded by Councillor Olds. All those in favour? <laughs> If, if you if you'd stop if you'd stop applauding, I'd be able to say the motion is carried unanimously. Thank you. Well this is one of those rare moments where the people have actually come and, and shown up in numbers to to force the council to do the right thing and to listen 
to the people um, and a lot of people involved obviously which is great uh, moving forward I definitely will support a cash society I use cash um, a lot um, and um, yeah I, I think that that's what it should do I've got to tell you a personal story um, I actually didn't know they took away the cash and I was doing some work for uh, my friend's mum and um, you know she she given me 50 bucks cash or something to uh, go and take a load to the dump for her um, but I got there and I got turned away um, I didn't actually have my wallet so I left it at home so I was stuck you know with a ute load full of stuff I actually had to drive home grab my wallet so I could go pay for it with FPOS so you know pretty annoying um, little things like that happen we don't need a cashless society we don't need to support the banks more than we already do they make enough money so if elected to council I'm going to keep cash.